A while ago, I recorded and published a tutorial on uh, freezing frames in uh, After Effects, and then, uh, just for fun, I have applied the uh, effect on the frozen frame just by writing Mr. Brown and adding a texture to the video. And uh, apparently, uh, some of you really enjoyed uh, the effect, and they asked me, how did you achieve so? So I would encourage you to keep writing me because in fact this tutorial is to address those who have asked how I achieved that. So please write the comments in the section below. In the meantime, I have created a, an alternative version of that video, but using the same procedure, basically freezing the frame, adding a texture, adding a title. And I've already created a setup here in uh, After Effects. I'm working on uh, After Effects uh, CS6. Uh, I'm uh, going to replicate everything here in a new composition. Basically what I've done, I just reached a frame where I want to basically apply the effects and I will do very quickly the first part, which is freezing the frame. And I will do it all with shortcuts. So I am assuming that you have already seen the previous tutorial here. So it's gonna be Shift Command D to split and then immediately Command D to duplicate and shift the top layer towards the right hand side. This one will create the same effect as long as I select the one in the middle and then I go to layer, time and freeze frame. So what I've done here so far is basically freezing the frame and that's it. So let's watch it again. It's gonna play. It's gonna freeze at the square here and then it's gonna carry on again. Now, the uh, interesting part when I'm going to overlay the texture, I have just a random texture that I have downloaded from the internet. I'm gonna scale this texture down in order to almost match the size of the video. And then I have to change the blending mode. So if you don't have blending mode visible in your interface here, it's because you have switches available. But if you scroll down a little bit, you see there is a little button that says toggle switches and modes. When you click on it, it will display the modes. I'm gonna change the mode for the texture from normal. I will be picking from the list the blending mode called uh, overlay. The list of blending modes is quite long. The one that we are looking for is right in the middle overlay. As you can see, it transfers the pixels of the texture to the video below. But I don't want the texture to be transferred on the face of the character, on the body of the character. So I want to mask the texture at that point. Also, I don't want the texture to appear at the beginning of the video. I only want the texture to appear when the video freezes. So how do I do so? First of all, I need to go at the beginning of the texture and uh, basically collapse the texture all the way to my current time indicator. So it won't appear at the beginning. It will only appear when the video freezes at this point here. But as I say, I don't want it to appear on the character. So I make sure the layer is selected and then I take the pen tool. And then with the pen tool, I start outlining the character some of you might find that it doesn't create a yellow path. And uh, if that happens, it means that you are not creating a mask, but you are creating a shape. Another visual hint to understand that you are creating a shape, if that is the case, is that you will have another layer added on top that is called shape one. If that happens, it's because you haven't selected the layer before starting your mask. As you can see, though I have selected the layer, therefore I have created a mask. However, the mask that I've created is actually applying the texture only to the character. I say I want to do the other way around. So I go to the texture, click on mask, open the mask and choose a different mode for the mask. It's not add, it's subtract. By doing so, I'm actually removing the texture from the character and apply the texture only to the background. I'm going to carry on and click on the mask options again. And this time I'm going to choose mask feather. I don't want it to be too obvious where the mask begin and where the mask ends. I want it to be smooth. Then I can go back to my selection tool. I don't need the pen tool anymore. I can just click anywhere to see the result, the current result. Now, if I play the video at this point, you will see that the mask will appear, the texture will appear, and it will appear very sharply and suddenly on the frozen frame. I want it to smooth it a little bit and also want to remove the texture after the character works away. To do so, I have to work with the texture opacity. So I'm going to click on the texture layer and tap the letter T on my keyboard to display the opacity for that specific layer. So at the beginning of the 
layer, I want the opacity to be 0%, meaning I don't want to see the texture. But only a couple of frames later, the opacity goes to 100%. Therefore, the texture will slightly smoothly appear on the frozen frame. When the texture is approaching the end, meaning the character is going to move away soon, I'm going to add a, another keyframe with the value 100%. In order to do so, I'm going to click this little diamond shape in between the two navigation arrows. By clicking the diamond, it will add a keyframe with the same value registered at that point in time by the property. I'm going to move on a little bit, a few frames, and uh, fade away the texture by bringing the opacity to zero. I have achieved the first important part of the result, which is getting the texture to slowly appear and slowly disappear as the character walks away. The last part is to add a title, a caption for it. I'm gonna write again like the first the tutorial, Mr. Brown. So Mr. Brown and uh, position already the text where I want it to be. I'll say I want, it, I want it to be here and I'm going to display a few properties for the text. I'm going to display the position, uh, hold down shift on my keyboard so I can also display scale by tapping S on my keyboard and also T for opacity and R for rotation. So I have four properties displayed at the same time. I'm going to position the current time indicator when the texture is already visible so that I can position the title exactly how I want it to be on the video. Then I start keyframing all of them and I will keyframe backward. So I start the stopwatch for position, scale, rotation and opacity. Then move my CTI backward, my current time indicator backward and here I decide how I want it to come in. So I'm going to move the Mr. Brown away. I'm going to change the rotation back to another angle. I'm going to scale it up much bigger and I'm going to decrease the opacity to zero. So what you will see will be a transition between these status and the final status of the text. There you go. So I wanted to do this movement. I also want it to blur a little bit. In order to do so, I have to go back to my switches, no more the modes. And here I'm going to turn on both the motion blur for the entire composition and for the specific layer of the title so that the title will appear with a little bit of blurriness. As the video approaches the point where the character will walk away, I want to get the title to fade away. To do so, I will add another keyframe for opacity using the same technique that we have just learned and then move my CTI forward and bring the opacity to 0%. When I'm going to play the video now, you will see the final result with the texture and the title appearing at the same time and disappearing at the same time when the frame stop freezing. 